Hello artists and uh, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be going over how to create a beautiful portfolio uh, that you can use to either present your artwork in a professional manner or apply it to institutions, whether that be a degree or an MA course. And I'm going to be going through some of the templates slash tactics and techniques I use that, well, that I'm using at the moment for my own portfolio that I will be submitting to the RCA come January. So the first thing that I kind of need to mention to you guys is, first of all, you need to understand the context in which you are kind of presenting your portfolio to. So take degree in MA. Uh, obviously, there are many different kind of educational institutions that will do uh, degree courses, BA courses, and also master's courses. But sometimes these institutions have different requirements requirements, and different formats. So make sure that you understand the context that you're applying to. And even the professional workplace kind of, if, you're, if they're expecting a certain kind of work or a certain kind of thing from a portfolio, you're kind of expected to, uh, I guess, play into the style of what they expect at first because especially if you're early on usually you don't have complete artistic freedom unless you're kind of building an audience online that are specifically interested in you as a person and uh, are going to buy that work from you because they're interested in you if you're applying somewhere usually you have to kind of look into that context and say okay how am i going to format my work and portfolio to fit that specific context. So what actually makes a, uh, a good portfolio? The kind of portfolio I'm kind of making myself at the moment is kind of a clean, well-organized, high quality, image quality is very important as well. How you take photographs of your work or if they're digital, that makes your life easy. But you know, how do you present this? Um, I'm doing, so, so what I did is I literally researched lots of different art books, uh, catalogs, gallery books, whatever you can find that you can look into the format. And I also, um, I'm gonna be doing some, uh, some additional text beside my work to kind of explain context and historical context to some of the works. So um, that's specific, specifically for the RCA, but you don't have to do kind of uh, text if you don't want to, but a good tactic is find a an artist that whose work is possibly similar to yours a similar similar aesthetic or their process is somewhat similar to yours um, or the direction that they've gone in is something that you enjoy look up to see if that artist has any kind of uh, as i said catalogs for galleries uh, a personal art book themselves and see how they have presented their artwork in that book format or that professional format and all you have to do is steal the format <laughs> <laughs> there's there's no there's no copyright on how you bloody organize um a page so uh, in terms of obviously presenting your own work you can kind of make small adjustments here and there depending on the dimensions of whatever of your own work but to get an idea of how to present literally google is there go and look at the books that already look good and then just get the format and copy it for yourself Bear in mind as well, a lot of these formats are very simple. It's just kind of understanding how to organize the images in a page, whether that be one, two, three, four images, um, where to put the border and place the text. Like they're actually very, very simple. So it's not like you're stealing an intricate design. It's like, I think sometimes we tend to overthink how much work you need to put into presenting something but sometimes it's just you need to look at something simple and sometimes to do something simple in a very good way is quite difficult if that makes sense but um just 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 have a look now for my big technical secret of how i'm putting my portfolio together for the royal college of art that is a website called canva so I use Canva, it's a, it's a free website. Um, it's kind of has all these templates for graphic designs, has a lot of free uh, elements and stuff that you can use. But for me, um, it's just an easy place for me to have all the templates for the pages that I'm going to use to submit to my RCA portfolio. These are kind of still in development and I'm showing you on the screen right now of what they look like. But you can see that I've kind of looked at the formats of art books and kind of taken uh, you could say elements and played around with stuff myself to come up with all these different pages which I think kind of look smart simple 
and would be effective for a master's degree portfolio for art because it gives me room to not only present my work but also present my process, can present drawings, digital work, painting. Uh, the work that you're seeing, uh, most of it I probably will not submit to my portfolio. I'm just putting it there for kind of demonstration purposes. But you can see that I'm just kind of demonstrating the different kind of, uh, I guess, designs slash formats I'm going to be going for. Feel free to use them yourself. Um, the, so the template I was using for this was called Pink and Cream Simple Graphic Design Portfolio Presentation. But the only thing I've kept from that template has been the dimensions of the page. You could say everything else is just completely out the window. So really the template that you math that you uh, that you choose doesn't really matter because you can obviously edit every single element of it. And as I said, what you're going for is a simple, clean design. So at the end of the day, you're not going to be using many intricate elements unless, say, for example, you're doing an illustration portfolio. This might be a slightly different format. A design portfolio will be different. Um, and I said, as I said, have a look at the artists who are already doing it well. That's possibly a little bit similar to your own work. And then you can see interesting ways of presenting your own artwork. So just a quick summary, I guess, what I've gone a little bit of what I've gone over. Yeah, this is this was a simple video. So literally research, obviously have a look at those art books, those artists, whatever inspiration you can get. Take note of the formats, realize you can use several different formats. Uh, second point would be use Photoshop, Canva. As I said, Canva is free. Uh, I've got a subscription for Photoshop, but you don't need Photoshop um, or an advanced editing program to put together portfolio pages. So use something like Canva to put the pages together. And then finally, if this video has been beneficial to you, then please leave a like and uh, feel free to DM me or comment below. Um, DM me on Instagram if you have any questions. So uh, and make sure you subscribe for more artistic content uh, from currently coming from China. Yeah, I had to flex my new T-shirt that I got from Taobao. Anyone know Taobao? Most people watching probably don't know what Taobao is. It's basically the Chinese Amazon. But as I said, I hope this video has been at least a little beneficial for those watching. So yeah, I guess um, here is my awkward goodbye. <laughs> I guess before, before I finish, I will just put up my eight pages kind of nice and slow so you can really have a look at the, uh, the, the template slash format or what you get what I'm trying to say.